James D. Wolfenson, who escaped a financially pinched Australian childhood to become a top Wall Street dealmaker and a two-term president of the World Bank, died on Wednesday at his home in Manhattan. He was 86. His daughter Naomi Wolfenson confirmed the death. Mr. Wolfenson was a force on Wall Street for years, helping to rescue the Chrysler Corporation while working for Salomon Brothers and running his own thriving boutique firm before President Bill Clinton nominated him to lead the World Bank, the world's largest economic development institution. But he was more than a financier. He led fundraising efforts as chairman of Carnegie Hall and headed a revival of the Kennedy Center for the Performing Arts in Washington. An accomplished cellist under the tutelage of the renowned Jacqueline Dupree, he performed at Carnegie Hall on his milestone birthdays. And as a university fencing champion, he was part of Australia's 1956 Olympic team, competing in front of his fellow Australians in Melbourne. But his main legacy was his stewardship of the World Bank, to which President Clinton nominated him in 1995, after he had given up his Australian citizenship 14 years earlier, to qualify for the job, only to be passed over. Arriving at the bank's Washington headquarters to begin his first five-year term, he found life there too comfortable, and its staff members demoralized a professional malice, he said, that had them denigrating the bank to their families and even to the news media. He immediately attacked the bank's complacency and insularity as he put it. He found that the bank's emphasis on technocratic market-based reforms was inhibiting its central mission. Aiding the world's poorest countries. I was throwing a grenade into an entrenched culture he wrote in his 2010 memoir, A Global Life. My journey among rich and poor, from Sydney to Wall Street to the World Bank. A priority for Mr. Wolfenson was to make field visits to poor nations less ceremonial than his predecessors had, and to listen to poor people themselves describe their governance, history and culture. He mounted a campaign against corruption in World Bank projects, breaking what he called a wall of silence on the subject. His efforts led to stepped-up audits and put the issue higher on the agendas of developing countries. Mr. Wolfenson in Rio de Janeiro in 2002. He was there to inaugurate a World Bank program giving the CITY and RISCOS impoverished residents access to information technologies. His last major undertaking was in the mid-2000s as a special envoy for a diplomatic group known as the Quartet, made up of the United Nations, the United States, the Russian Federation and the European Union, which was seeking an Israeli-Palestinian peace deal, in which Israel would disengage from the Gaza Strip. If the deal were struck, he was to help coordinate revitalization efforts once the Palestinian authorities had taken over the area, the UN said at the time.